Greetings, Seekers, and welcome back to TCG Card Shop Simulator. We are going to load up where we last left off over at Lucian's Library. Now, they did do a recent update where some features are going to be changed, some stuff that they're still implementing on part of that roadmap list that we saw earlier. And so loading this save slot will override the current auto save slot. Are you sure about it? That has been changed rather than them saying that it will delete a file it's just going to override the last auto save which is fine so you basically still have your three shops and then your auto save slot there so we're just going to load up lucian's library I was playing a different one before but we're going to jump back into lucian's library now we've done some tinkering around uh i was speaking a lot with my uh, good friend uh, alice if you are not familiar with uh, alice and dusty you can go and follow her over on her channel that's twitch.tv forward slash alice and dusty so Alice A-N-D Dusty. You can go and follow her over there. If you want to check out the video that we did back on, oh God, way back when, when we did our impressions video for Return to Moria, uh, she tag teamed that with me as well. So if you want to check out some of her amazing content, go and scope her out over on Twitch. She has a YouTube channel, all that fun stuff as well. All right. so. Again, no passage of time happens, so we're still okay to keep the shop closed right now. No one's going to give us poor ratings when we're not open yet. We can see we've got our full stock of cards pretty much here as we go. Shove our thing right in the corner. I don't like, I'm going to see if I can move it a little bit closer to the wall. I don't think I can. Yeah, so I can still get around that way too. Can I move it closer to me though? I'd like to move it as close to this door as I can. There we go. Okay, that's perfect. All right. Um, now, this is a good time. We were talking a lot about strategy and how the shipping works. So before we actually start a new day, I want to touch base a little bit quickly about how some of the new mechanics work. So when you open up your phone, you're going to want to go to TCG price and you're going to want to check these markup prices. Sometimes things will be going up. Sometimes they'll be going down. So the morning is always the good time to check this out. So running through all of your stock, you can also do a quick check by just clicking on the inventory that you have. And if you see that your market price is different than what it previously was, or if you're not sure, then you can use your TCG price guide. And that'll tell you if something's gone up or down in pricing, which I think is incredibly helpful when you're trying to set your prices to make the most amount of profit. We are going to keep the light off as well, so we're not burning electricity. And another thing when it comes to stock order... Now, I was mentioning previously how it seems like buying the 64 boxes and the 8 boxes, while it doesn't change the overall cost to you, what does matter is the shipping. So I'll just show you really quickly what I mean. So we're going to buy, let's say we put two of these in the cart. Our delivery fee is only $5. If we only take one, still $5. As you can see, when your quantity starts going up, your delivery fee goes up more. So if you wanted to buy four, it's going to cost you $8 in delivery fee, obviously impacting your total cost. But if we got rid of all these four and then bought the 64 pack license, add to cart, and suddenly now it's $5, right? But notice how we're getting far more quantity. So at the same delivery cost, we're actually getting more product. Now, right now, it might not make much sense to do that because we still have just a very small shop. So buying, you know, 240 packs of cards, we just aren't going to be able to turn that around quickly enough or easily enough. Uh, I mean, seeing as we only have the one product, maybe we can, but you can see that's $400. That, that's a lot of money to spend on that. So while I initially said that the licenses for the doubled up products weren't a worthwhile investment they kind of are because you see it in the delivery fee so if i were to buy let's say a pack of these and a pack of these my delivery cost is only five it's only when you start hitting the quantity three that your dollar that it goes up by a dollar quantity four goes up two quantity five goes up by two and then two 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 basically for every quantity beyond that so the more that you buy the more your delivery charge goes up so you're just going to want to watch and monitor that. So when you, certainly when your shop gets bigger, investing in the, the licenses for the bigger 
facts of what you're buying, definitely worthwhile because you save on the shipping costs. So rather than spending two to get one, you spend one to get two and you come out ahead on your shipping. If that doesn't make any sense, that's okay. It doesn't have to. I mean, it does, but it's okay. Don't sweat it. Uh, tabletop, uh, don't, we can't afford anything on the tabletop anyway. And stock order, I can look at booster packs, like still get accessories. I'm not interested in buying anything yet. I can get, you know what, we'll get the card sleeve, so. And we'll get uh, one card sleeve box. We'll purchase that. So you can see my, my cost was $5 there. I don't know if you get bad ratings for having boxes of stock set aside anywhere, but we are going to eventually get some plastics going. No one's been calling for plastics yet, so you can go and check your... See, fast and reliable seller. So what I do is I go through this and I take a look at all of my four and sub stars. So obviously five star ratings don't really care, but you can see very cheap, we'll visit soon. Fast and reliable seller, good time playing here. So that's all good, that's all good stuff. So we're we're still in the clear. We'll flip the sign, let's get a new day going. Now we don't necessarily need to keep the lights on. I think it's looking a little on the darker side. So what, you know, we'll turn the lights on anyway. And let's take a look at our bills right now. So our electricity is due in seven days and our rent's due in seven days. So these will increase incrementally as the days go by. So on day nine, we're gonna have to pay these out. We don't have any salary because we don't have any employees yet. And we can pay these now in advance if we think we can afford them. I kind of don't want to. And we're not really ready to do any shop expansions yet either. We can get a second shop as well if we wanted to, but we're not ready to do any of these renos yet. Not yet anyway. And do it yourself. I don't really want to buy any more racking or cab. I want to buy more cabinets, but not yet. $2.87. Well, considering that we're rounding in Canada, you know what? Whatever. Uh, 14. Oh God, uh, 14, 26, so 10, 14, 25, 30, thank you. Oh yeah, lots of packs. Give me that, please. And I owe you a dollar thirty, so dollar twenty-five thirty. There you go. Thank you. Some people like to count back up. So to a oh, I guess it's a bad example because you gave me exact change. Uh, some people like to count back up to the amount of total given. Uh, I don't do that, but you definitely can if you want to, if that's what helps. So we have to buy a card table next. Card table is in our doing ourselves, and that's the card table right there. It is four hundred dollars. We probably won't afford one today. Uh, do I have a lot of cards though? Let's open up my portfolio here. Twelve, three nineteen. I only have uh, three, six, nine, twelve cards. So we're gonna want to open up some more packs before we build our card table out. Anyway, we can do those tonight up some more packs here so we're just we're just gonna run the gamut here we don't have a lot of different stock right now but that's okay what i could do though is i can start spreading some stuff around i'll just let these people i want to get those up on the racks but no one's asking for them yet so i'm not really going to be too concerned about putting them out on the rack yet i think i'll do stock at night we'll worry about our stock at night so 4018 yeah, lots of packs. Give me them packs. There you go. And I owe you five, seven, eight, twenty-five, thirty-five, forty-five. Thank you. How many packs are you getting? Oh yes. Mm. That's because we are still just slightly above market value, which is awesome. As long as you're not making it too greedy, you are good. Seventy-five ninety. Oh, sixteen ninety. There we go. Bam. Thank you. And more people are gonna keep playing. So. As I mentioned earlier, your tables make you money and experience, and that is from these things, these events. So when people come in and they pay money, so we're playing a standard right now. You can change that, and you can change the fees if you want to try to make more money off of your tables. Uh, I'm not going to really be too concerned about that right now. It says confirm event. That really doesn't do anything. It's just your tables are making money, and that's what those events are. So 9, 50, 75, 85, 90, you. Oh yeah, baby. Oh, lots of packs. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We're actually gonna have to order some stocks soon. Yeah, hundred dollars. Heck yeah. Oh more, yes. So this would be a good time to actually order some more stock. 
37.31, thank you. This would be a good time to order some more stock. So what we're gonna do is rather than order a bunch of the 32, we're actually gonna order two of the 64s. They're, they're basically the same as if I was buying four, but again, I'm saving on the shipping. So that's really where we're gonna come out ahead. So we'll open that up and we'll just get these stocked up. Yeah. These simulator games are uh, very, very, very slow to start, and if you're not careful, they start spiraling out of control very quickly. As far as I know, there is no theft in this game, so you can just kind of leave boxes out there for the time being, but we'll bring them in and just keep them behind the counter so we can keep this guy waiting. So $2.25.30, thank you. We're going to open up our sleeves now. Put the sleeves down there, take you, and put you down here. We'll open up our sleeves and we'll go bup, 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 bup. Now I want to get these priced out quickly. So we're going to go market 10%, bam. Just so that nobody... Just so that nobody decides that they're going to just grab them for free. So there was a guy standing right there. He could have easily grabbed them and that's happened to me before where someone just kind of walks away with stuff for free and it's like, um... And it lists, the, it lists the inventory, it lists the stock, but they grabbed it before you put a price on it. So that's why you generally worry about your stock at night, or that's at least why I worry about my stock at night. Uh, what, what's, what are you? You're the box of 64, right? Let's actually open you up and let's get our stock going. We are gonna open up some more packs tonight too. We'll worry about that. Night, we'll get there. for some more spaces that's okay we'll close the box how many are left two packs perfect and i owe you nothing did i have the lights on i don't i mean oh no i do have the lights on whoops my bad sorry Ooh, card plastics mm -hmm. okay and then that 15.57 so we'll grab you open you up and put two more packs you know what can't put two packs anywhere so we're gonna just close you up again Now we'll just keep that. And you could get a personal shelf or you can get some racking. Uh, but if you put the racking up, people are going to buy stuff. The personal shelf no one buys from. So if you're looking at your do-it-yourself here, people will buy off of this. People do not buy off the personal shelves. So, and the warehouse shelving. So if I didn't want people to buy any stuff of my extra stock, I could do that. But I don't have the shop b opened up yet which i believe is this spot over here i think this is shop b so i actually don't have this open yet it's gonna cost me five grand to do that and i'm nowhere near doing that i do not have the stock yet necessary to make that happen so yeah the simulator games can get out of hand really quickly if you're not uh careful but that's okay uh, as long as you pace yourself well enough, you can generally get through no problem. My recommendation is just take it slow. Uh, suffer through a little bit of maybe people being a little bit cheesed off at you. Um, and then once you achieve kind of what you want to do... I'm just getting some card stock. It'll, it'll stop if there's something new or something expensive pops up. Six dollar card, six dollar gold edition. Heck yeah. $1.25 foiled, not terrible. Once we get the card table, $1.28 foiled, another gold edition. So if you pull the same card and $27 card, heck yeah. Like that. $3 card. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Uh, so if I go over to my here, I can then look at, what do I got here? Two, three. I've got lots of stock now. Oh yeah, I've got plenty of stock. Okay, sorry. It's because I keep going to the last page or I keep going by 10 pages. That's why. My book value is $624, so that's not terrible. Put that away for now. I'm no, I could buy a card table. I'm going to wait until the end of the day before I buy a card table so I can make sure my stock's okay. Uh, right now, people are just playing. 425 in the afternoon. I do want to get some more shelving though. So I can get another shelving unit and we'll buy another shelving unit, buy another two shelving units so I can get a full thing is I don't have to buy that 
that card table just yet, and I kind of don't want to. There we go. I kind of want to make a full... I want to make a full rack here first. So the idea behind this is that I'm going to have, like, uh, sleeves, boxes, and then my card packs, ideally, is how I kind of want to set this up. Now, I'm not ready for the next tier of, plast uh, of plastics, of uh, cards yet, but I will be very soon. Let's see, what shop do I need in order to get the... I can do the boxes soon, which would be handy. I can do the rare packs. Okay, so I can do the rare packs. They're $300, so we're not there yet. We probably do want to get the card table up sooner than later, but we're not going to worry about that just yet. I think I... Yeah. I like this setup. I like having the two, four. I might buy another couple of tables here, actually. I might build another couple of uh, play tables and have my cards, my card table run like this. Or put the card table kind of here so people have to go and buy the card table to the cash. We're not going to worry about that right now. There's a lot of... That's the great thing about these simulator games, too. As much as it tries to rush you through, I honestly would say just take your time. Even if for some reason you're getting low ratings as long as you're trying to serve um people as fast as possible and try to keep your stock and pricing well enough you don't necessarily need to worry too much about yeah see like he's stinky i might get a bad review about people being stinky here so 4.66 day two Generally, it is. I make decks with packs I bought from Lucian's and I won the tournament. Thank you. Absolute steal for basic card prices. Didn't expect that. It's funny how you get four star ratings for really cheap prices because generally people really like that. But, you know. At the end of the day, as long as you are pricing stuff and you're getting a profit out of it, you can generally get away with doing whatever you want. You just never want to be too greedy or stuff won't move or people are going to give you bad ratings. So it's uh, 7 o'clock. I know where my hard gamers are at. I do not. We'll put some more there. We'll just drop you down there. So what I want to do is eventually I'm going to start building this up with more boxes too. Uh, I can get the boxes if I want. I might actually just go with the 200 license with the 8 box license. I might actually skip the 4 box license instead and jump right to this one. Knowing how the shipping works now, I think actually investing in the doubled up might be a better bet. So you have to get to shop level 8 before I can get the 64 pack license, but I can get the rare packs now. So it kind of one helps me get the next one. I do want to get, actually, I do want to get stuff to combat smelly people. I need to do this. I need to get the cleaner. My god. People not understand how to... I want to... Oh, I can't get to. Uh, we'll wait till the end of the day, then. Actually, you know what? No, I don't want to wait till the end of the day. Uh, no, I only want two. I could afford two. Okay, yeah, purchase that. Okay. Put that there. Bring you in. No one's really going to knock me for smelliness yet because it's not something that people are really concerned about yet. But I will have to be SC 4.58. Body odors making my head spin. Okay, so now we have to be concerned with uh, people smelling like uh, Garbo coming into my shop. You can get a do-it-yourself auto sprayer. The auto scent, it is 500 bucks. I can get it now if I want. Like, I can I can buy it once I can afford it, I mean. But we are gonna flip the sign so no new people walk in and we're gonna just serve the rest of these guys. So people will still come to the counter if they're in the shop, which is great. That means I can still sell stuff and make some money, which is fantastic. Change, 278, 250, 75, 80, thank you. And we'll just let those guys finish up a little experience. But this just stops new people from coming in. But I don't want to boot them out because I still want to let them finish and collect the money. And they might still come and buy something as well. 
So how am I doing on my packs here? We can space these out, spread these out a little bit more just to create some flow. Uh, and let's move some of them over here. So just everything looks like it's a little bit more stocked. It doesn't look as vacant. Okay, so we're leaving today with about a hundred bucks. That's not terrible though. We'll start the next day. It's because I spent uh, licenses and upgrades and things like that, but that's all right. Day three. How are we doing on our bills here? Bills, not terrible. Oh, right. Well, I can do stock. I can do stock in the morning too. No one's here. It actually might be better to do stock in the morning too. So one, two, three. Those are my three racks. So I'm gonna put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like that. Throw you out. Pick you up. Go. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You out. And what's our market price? Market price is nine ninety seven. That's pretty low. When I started this on my other file, they were like retailing at like almost fifteen bucks a can. So we'll go 10% above market price. Round it. Yeah, I like the rounding price. We'll go $11. Or we could go $10.99. Done. And let's take a look at our TCG pricing. So card prices, the card packs went up. The rarest packs went up. The rare boxes went up. We don't have the card boxes yet, so their pricing doesn't impact anything. Epics went down. Oh, I guess those those will track as well. So there's just no change in the, the basic card boxes. Um, Earth decks went up. Some stuff went down. The Destiny packs went up. Epic Destiny, Legendary Destiny. Yeah, the bulk boxes. This is all stuff that you can make when you're when you have the workshop. You can make your own custom packs and things like that. And then our accessories, those went up. These went down, and we can eventually get these as well. I think we can afford we can afford the license on those accessory. We need shop level ten, so we're not we're not there yet. So we these went down in price. So we'll go market price ten. We're still sitting pretty good. Actually, I think I'm charging more than what I was before. Which is fine. Let's go round it. Three bucks. Nah, it's too high. Uh, what was my market price? Plus 10, 293. We can go 299 then. If my market price plus 10% is like 293, we'll bump it up the other six cents. We'll just go 299. I think we're okay. I don't want to put those up yet because I want to keep everything together, but I do want to start getting this stuff. I'm going to need a personal shelf so I can have my. Um. Yeah, so I can have my uh, spray can and run around and spray people. But we're not going to... Again, we're not going to worry about that right now. Yes, come, my minions. Come. Wow, got to take one of these. Heck yeah, you do go five seven ten thank you yeah gotta take a spray can i wonder why 405 thank you and what do you got for me oh my god you bought an entire so okay you cleaned out an entire drawer of them how smelly are you i'm sorry you needed 18k okay these are apparently really popular i'm gonna have to order more of these already oh my god they cleaned out my entire stock. Okay. That sucks. I didn't want to... I didn't want to have to buy an entire resupply of these things already, but apparently people are so smelly, they just need their friggin' deodorant right now. Oh my god, he's buying... My God, are people this smelly? I have sold almost, uh, I have almost sold all of my deodorant times two. Oh, wow. Uh, changing 35, uh, changing 100, sorry. 35, 36, uh, 10, thank you. All right, what do you got for me? Oh my God, more? Are you people okay? Are you, are you people just like, 
Do people, are people not showering here? Is this what's happening? Man, I thought he was just gonna show up with a full rack too. Oh my god. Wow, okay. Apparently deodorant is like the hot ticket item for today. <laughs> Apparently I'm getting all the people who don't believe in showering. Oy. Either that or $10.99 is an amazing price for these things, because oh my god, they are just on the move. Well, in that case, I am going to buy a personal shelf so I can store stuff for me. And each compartment can hold 48. Yeah, that's fine. Whoop. So I want my personal stash. I put my personal stash more... For now. I might move some stuff. I'm gonna have to move some stuff around here, but I'll worry about that later. 205. Thank you. So I'm gonna grab you then. And you're gonna be my personal spray can. Which means I have to order another box. Accessories. Buy another box. Yep. Um Oh, my cost for these went up. My unit price went up. Those are more expensive now. Oi. Okay. Well, if anything, people are just going to buy all my deodorant, so whatever. I need to check my reviews here. I feel like we're kind of slowing down today, so I need to see what my reviews are. Store is clean, good prices, good prices, clean, no smell at all, no smell, place is neat and tidy, comfortable, cozy, great service. Yeah, that was from yesterday. Okay, so so far things are things are fine. We just need to we just need to sit back and, and do that thing that I was saying where we just need to sit back and uh, make money. I might have to drop the price of my card packs though. I feel I'm not getting people coming in and buying like 50 of them at a time. So let's go market round. No, market 10%. It's only a difference of six cents. No, it's going back to $2.99. It's only a difference of six cents. You people are being stingy. Spend $3 and buy a pack of cards. My goodness. Fair price for a basic card pack. You're dang right a fair price for a basic card pack. Just buy 70 of them. 10 and 9 for this is fair. People apparently love deodorant here. My goodness. The amount of times I've sold deodorant today is unreal. Changing 100. Uh, 20, 40, 5, 6, 50, 60. Thank you. God. People just love their deodorant, apparently. My goodness. Yes, the VTuber model goes on the fritz when I'm drinking, because I'm going in front of the camera. Deal with it, I drink. I have a drink. I have my hot chocolate with me. I love it. That's what I want to see more of. Yeah, just, just buy stuff. Make me money, tables. Might have to bump up the price for the events here. $7 an hour? Nearby stores charge $7 an hour. What if I charged six forty nine for an event? What then? What say you? Are we gonna get more people wanting to come and play? Huh? Have a really super cheapo tournament and just have a whole bunch of people show up and make a crap ton of money off my tables? I think so. Just watching people play, watching people play. I can't really worry about my stock right now. Ooh, I can put some more plastics out, though. Actually, we now that we have the space for it, I can get rid of this box. So, point. Fantastic. So we are still trying to save up for the card table. And this is why we have the spray can, so I can spray him down. This is fine. Yeah, I'm spraying deodorant in your face. Yeah, it's fine. Changing 20 to 10. There you go. Let's just see what people say. 
Day three, helpful, good time playing here. Best shop is Lucian's Library. Really like Lucian's Library. Absolutely do it a steal for cleanser. Didn't expect that price here. Heck yeah, that's what I like to see. We might just have to coast on the cleanser pricing for now. If I wanted to, I could put that bottle up for sale. I don't know if anybody would chart, would uh, bat an eyelash considering that it is partially used, but I don't know. But if you do take your personal stash, you can sell it. The personal stash is basically just a holding place where you're keeping stuff out of the hands of the customers, more or less. But if you don't have a warehouse section either. Yeah, there we go. 20 bucks. 20 bucks per person? Heck yeah. Because I'm charging them per hour playing. Yeah. More deodorant. What? Why? Why are you guys obsessed with deodorant so much? God, I'm just gonna... More deodorant! Are you people not showering? Is this a problem? Is personal hygiene a real concern for some people here? Or are we just trying to play up the notion that, oh, they're card game players, uh -huh, they don't believe in hygiene. Uh -huh. hey. Believe it or not, all not all TCG players are smelly people. Contrary to popular belief, I guess. So we're gonna buy a 64 pack, yep. Yeah. And we're gonna buy one of you. Add to cart. So, see, delivery fee, $5, but we're getting, effectively, two packs of 32s. Yeah, that's 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 what I like to see. All right, give me this. Give me my deodorant, because apparently I'm being cleaned out of this. God. Oh, I made the mistake once of buying a trash can for inside. Yeah, I wouldn't do that. That's a waste of $500. $500 for a... It's the dumbest thing. It's $500 for a trash can. Like... I don't know the last time you went to a hardware store and paid $500 for a trash can, but I can assure you that is a ripoff. Oh my god, more deodorant. Why? Why are you people insisting on play? Okay, just grab the deodorant then and go. Hey. They call it cleaner. Maybe it's not. No, it is totally deodorant because I can spray stinky people down. I can chase them down the street. I need a smelly person to demonstrate this. I was told that you can't do that anymore, but I'm pretty sure I can chase people down and spray them with deodorant. I still haven't bought a card table yet, because I've been too busy stocking up on friggin' deodorant. This is what's gonna happen, right? This is... Great stuff, good stuff, great service. Best card shop, we'll visit again. Comfortable, cozy playing here. That's great. See, that's what I want. I want people to sit here for like, four hours and play. Bit of a screen tear. Looks like he's got a ripped shirt. Yes, play, play, play till closing. Yeah. I can't wait till this game makes it into something you can actually play. Oh, it's going to be so much fun. Actually being able to play Tetramon is going to be a blast. I'm so stoked to learning how to play it. Where are the cards that I get in this? Oh my God. 20. Hey, 21, 98. Thank you. Oh, more people playing. Excellent. You're going to sit down too, aren't you? Or are you just going to watch? You're just going to watch. Like, it's a little sad that they only have like six models of characters that they rotate through. You come to my shop a lot, don't you? Lots of packs, though. We'll separate. That's a pretty good stock, though. We got some plastics, we got some basic cards, we got some cleaner. We're going to invest in the boxes soon. The boxes are going to go like hotcakes as soon as we get the opportunity to sell them. Unfortunately, the license is just a bit much. It is $200 for the license, and then I have to actually buy the boxes. It's kind of not fun, but that's okay. Not a bad price. Oh my god, more deodorant. Deodorant is not, it's not an appropriate substitution for regular hygiene. Please, please shower or bathe or something. Covering up a musty smell in deodorant is just not, it's just not the play. It's just not the, it's not the, the good way to do this here. Uh, 30, we'll go grab two there. Grab two there. Let's open these up. Let's see. Nothing too exciting. Oop, $11 card, very nice. What else we got? $7 card, very nice. 
cards are a great way to just get a massive amount of money in very quickly. So I think we're doing okay on the card front. We have a lot of cheapy cards, but that's okay. We're at $242 on day three in shop level six. That's not terrible. I want to be able to get into the boxes though, because the boxes are going to make it some good money. And then once I get the boxes, then we're going to move up to the rare card packs. But I might just do the rare card packs when we can actually get the license for the 64 packs and actually skip the rare pack 32s. See, that's why I want to do the basic box eight, because what I will do is I will put box and I will put box so I'll basically have these two mirroring each other right now until such time as I can then renegotiate the inventory on here so I think we're actually going to be done opening up packs for a while we have actually a very healthy card base more than I thought changing 40 thank you or deodorant my goodness why did I attract all the smelly people today but nobody's stinky. Nobody's stinky. Everybody's just buying it. Maybe they're buying it as an investment. So when they come to my shop, they know to actually be, you know, not repugnant. All right. Goodbye. I'm sorry, sir, but no one's going to be coming to play because my shop is closed. We're going to kick him out. We finally have enough for a card table, though. So I think we're going to do one more day of just getting money saved up. Let's see how my reviews are doing. 4.56, so stink free, fours, lots of fours, lots of fours. But that is a name. I don't even know. I don't even want to attempt to pronounce that. That is like someone took a bunch of letters and put it in a blender and... Good lord. <laughs> um... Place smells like roses for a TCG card shop. This place smells like roses again. I don't know if this is just like simulator humor going, ha ha, TCG cops card shop smelly places, or if it's actually like, no, nah, it's totally that TCG card shop stink and bo is a serious issue. I don't think that's the case. It'd be nice once I get the. See, ideally, what I want to do is I want to open up the second card shop because I want this back room to be all. Uh, play and inventory. So I want all these tables. I want all these tables back here and I just want inventory back there. Those warehouse uh, racks. I just want those back there and I want this all retail. I want the front to be all retail space. But we're a long way away from that. So that's going to do it for this video though. We have managed to actually do quite a bit. Even if it doesn't seem like we're doing a lot of and when we reconvene again, we are going to be starting day four and working towards actually getting the card table up so we can start seeing how the card mechanics work in this game and how you can start listing your cards for prices and things like that and how they interact with uh, people getting into the shop and whatnot. So uh, thank you guys very much for watching. I appreciate it, each and every one of you. And again, if you are not subbed to the channel, you can always hit that sub button down below. It does really help the channel. Uh, and obviously all the other socials are linked down below in the description as well for your viewing pleasures. And I will see you all in the next video.